everybody! Today we're going to be going over the top 10 pros, top 10 cons of living in Vero Beach. I'm excited to show you. So if this is your first time here, be sure that you sub hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell so that you'll get notified of the upcoming episodes that we have. We're going to go over so many different topics about real estate, the Vero Beach area, and all the fun things that go with it. As you can see, I'm wearing the Vero Beach t-shirt to talk about the great things about Vero Beach and why we like to live here. Some of the pros, some of the cons. We'll be going over 10 different things for pros, 10 different things for cons. Excited to talk about all of those things. Um, there's going to be an episode 2 of this because there was just too many things to talk about today. So I'm really excited to get started. Okay, so I'd really like to get started first with our cons list. Let's go over those things that are not so great about Vero Beach or living here in Vero Beach. Okay, so the very first one that I will mention, and I think everybody feels that way, is, well, maybe a lot of people feel this way. Anyway, the nightlife, there just isn't a lot. Um, so if you're into a place that has all night parties and nightclubs and all of that kind of stuff, Vero Beach does not have those kind of nightlife fun. We do have some really nice places that you can go to. There's wine bars, beer bars, there's um, lots of other places that you can go that are just a little bit smaller, not like the crazy dancing party nightlife that you might see in some of the bigger, bigger cities. Okay, and so let's see what made it to my number two on the list of cons of living in Vero Beach. Well, this one is, it gets really hot. Really hot and really humid, especially in the summer. Um, our winters do get cold, so there, some people think that it's just hot here all the time, and that is not true. Um, it does get pretty cold in the winter, but for a very short time. So, most of the time, we keep our coats and our big sweaters um, tucked away for that one week or that few weeks that we might have in the winter. Um, but otherwise, a lot of people here, they, they go up north during the summer when it's really, really hot here. Um, but there are still a lot of full-time people, people who live here year-round. Um, so, it's okay with me. I'm here all the time. And for the number three thing that's on the list for cons of living in Vero Beach. Hurricanes. We get hurricanes here. Yeah. Um, but I think really the first one that I ever went through, I was terrified. I didn't know what to expect. The best thing to do is really just listen to your officials. Um, take their precautions. Be prepared. Vero Beach has done a really good job about preparing for hurricanes. Our gas stations have generators now. Um, we know long before a hurricane is coming so that we have plenty of time to prepare. Um, we usually stock up on water, gas, money, food, all of those things. We, um, the community really gets together and helps everyone putting up shutters. Um, there's a multitude of different types of shutters that you can get for your home um, to make it super quick and easy. Um, but really, the Vero Beach is as prepared as it can be for uh, any upcoming hurricanes, which we will definitely be getting in the future. So we just like to be prepared and listen to those officials. Okay, and for the number four thing on my list, for cons of living in Vero Beach. Our malls suck. They're bad. There's actually no stores in our mall. We have a big beautiful mall. There's just a bunch of small stores in there. Um, I think that there's a church right now that takes up a huge amount of it and a shoe store. Um, but overall, it's really nothing special. So around here, what we like, um, we have our Target, we have our Walmart. We also do Amazon Prime. We do love our Amazon Prime. Um, but overall, um, big mall, we don't have anything like that here. 
in Vero Beach. We do have an outlet mall, which is all open, um, and that's that's pretty good. Um, but for for the most part, a big mall we just don't have. Um, but we do have here in Vero Beach, we have lots and lots of nice little small boutique shops, and you'll be able to find those on. 14th Avenue in downtown Vero Beach and you'll also be able to find those um, along Ocean Drive. There's a whole bunch of different um, boutique shops and you can find the cutest stuff. Little dresses, um, you can find jewelry, kids clothing, some great ice cream shops along Ocean Drive as well. Um, so that's really our specialty here in Vero Beach is uh, more of a boutique shop. Our malls suck. And for the number five, number five con of living in Vero Beach, there's no real big restaurants here. We have a few. We have Outback, Chili's, Carrabba's, um, Olive Garden. Um, I know a lot of people are wishing that we had like Long John Silver's. We don't. Um, we don't have a Red Lobster. We're probably the only place in America that doesn't have a Denny's. No, we don't have a Denny's here in Vero Beach. We used to, a long time ago. That's been replaced by a smaller restaurant um, over there. Instead of all of those big commercial restaurants, those big chains, um, what we do have here is lots and lots of different family-owned smaller restaurants. We have the best pizza at Nino's. We have barbecue at, at Wilkie's that's so good. Um, you can go to um, all kinds of different kinds of cuisine. We have um, our chefs here, they, they really are able to prepare a host of different things, all kinds of different um, they can go seasonally, they can do all kinds of different, um, just amazing flavors and foods. So there's plenty of choices, um, but not as many of the big restaurants here in Vero Beach. Okay, for the number six con of living in Vero Beach, our stores. We don't have a Trader Joe's, we don't have a Costco's. I know a lot of you are like, why don't you have a Costco's? We don't have a Denny's either. Um, so, but what we do have now recently, we have um, built a couple of Wawa's. I know a lot of you just love Wawa's and it is not disappointing. It has uh, really been great to have Wawa's here at Vero Beach. Um, there's a couple different locations now. And we all love also going to our Sam's Club. That's where we would get our bulk items. Um, but we don't have a Trader Joe's. We don't have a Costco's. Maybe someday. And for number seven of cons for living in Vero Beach are bugs. We have a lot of bugs here. We have a lot of different kinds of bugs here. We have ants, we have roaches, we have termites, we have uh, mosquitoes, we have um, beetles, spiders. Um, we have all of them. They love the climate, and so do we. So um, the best thing to do is just have regular monthly pest control come to your home. Um, they'll spray inside the first time usually, and then they'll keep the out, outside sprayed all uh, monthly or quarterly. Um, but we do have bugs. Alrighty, for the number eight, the number eight con of living in Vero Beach is there's no real seasons here. It's hot, it's summer, all the time. It's winter for a short amount of time. Um, and it is green all year round. So we mow our grass all year round. It's really a great thing about living in Florida too. But when I moved here to begin with, um, I came from a place where there were four distinct seasons. Um, and that does not happen here, especially for those of you who are used to having snow for Christmas or things like that. Um, snow does not happen here in Vero Beach, but what we do have a lot of during the Christmas time, um, during that winter weather and um, to get the, the spirit right, um, we de decorate our homes. You're gonna see lights and um, displays on many of the homes here. Um, we do keep it festive and fun, um, but 
there's no real seasons, but there's enough snow too. Okay, for the number nine thing of cons of living in Vero Beach would be our business and commercial. We really don't have a lot of big business here. There's some, there's a few things, but for the most part, most of the big business and the big commercial takes place um, probably to the to our north in Brevard County where they have the space program. There's lots of work there, um, lots of different um, commercial and business there. Um, but for the most part, this is just a nice small town. Um, there is there is still work here um, for every type of job that you can think of. Um, but for the most part, the big, big companies are not here in Indian River County or Bear Beach. Okay, for the number 10, the number 10 con of living in Vero Beach. Now, I had a hard time trying to come up with more cons because I really love it here in Vero Beach, but um, they have drivers. Yeah, we, I mean, there are some places that have worse drivers, I guess, but um, here in Vero, we have, um, we do have great traffic. It's not, you know, we don't have heavy traffic here, but even with those wide roads and, and everything, you're still gonna see um, fender benders and people getting bumped into in a shopping parking lot or um, things like that. But, um, so watch out there, be careful, wear your seatbelt. Okay, now for the fun part. Here's the pros of living in Vero Beach. I love this list so much better. So the number one uh, pro to living in Vero Beach is our quiet, beachy, beautiful town. And we don't have crowded beaches. Even Jake Owen talks about it, or he actually has a song about it. He's one of our locals here. He grew up here in Vero Beach with a population of only 160,000 people roughly, um, you can really drive to any beach, um, anywhere in, from anywhere in Indy River County or Barrow Beach in probably 15 minutes or less. So our ocean, our beaches are so close to everything. That's a really great pro um, to living in Barrow Beach. Okay, our number two pro for living in Vero Beach is our long, beautiful coastlines. That's right, we have long, the longest views of anywhere. One of our rules here in Vero Beach is that we don't build tall, tall buildings and block that beautiful view. We do have two pretty tall buildings right on the beach, but otherwise, there's uh, really, most of the buildings here are about treetop height. Um, if they are tall, that's about the max they go. And so when you drive up over the bridge, um, you're gonna be able to see the magnificent views um, for miles and miles. You'll see the, um, the beautiful ocean when you, when you cross over the bridge there. It's just magnificent. One other benefit that we have because of our long beautiful coastline is that we're one of the hot spots for sea turtle nesting here so you'll see that if you live here um, you'll be able to take tours and watch this process it's pretty uh, magical actually to see um, see these huge these ginormous um, sea turtles laying their nests and and we do our best to protect those nests there's rules on the ocean um, and for the residents and businesses that that do have um, coastline there um, with the colored lights that they use and that sort of thing um, to protect the sea turtles it's a big push for us um, they're important to us uh, we do love that about our beaches okay for the number three pro for living in Vero Beach it's our schools we have fantastic schools here we have many different um, schools from pre-k to to high school and we even have some um, post-education we have the Mueller Center from Indy River Community College that's here um, and one extra fun thing is that uh, at Vero Beach High School we're so proud of them their athletics teams there um, we have one of the best in the state for football girls lacrosse our drum line, they're amazing. I'm gonna be putting some links here so you can watch some of their shows. Uh, it's, it's pretty great. Um, so we're really proud of our students. They also have, um, with Vero Beach High School, 
they have a 91% graduation rate, which is just, that's just great. That's really good that we, um, we get most of our kids through um, graduation. Another great thing about our community is that because we love our schools so much, we do a lot of fundraisers to, to get school supplies and money for them. And we also have our parents and teachers and, and everyone really gets together. We, we go to their football games. We, we attend their performances. Um, there's lots of great things that the entire community, whether you have children in school or not, can participate in, in those children's activities and the, the watching these kids excel in what they do and, and watching these kids achieve their potential so that they can move on into their adult lives um, with, with strengths and skills and, and even becoming professional athletes. Um, it's pretty, pretty great for our community. Okay, number six. Number six, we don't have state tax here. So, of course, that's the whole state of Florida. But we don't have state tax. Where you're going to see some of the charges come from is from the property taxes. We also have to charge dock stamps on the sale of real property. Um, we also have a lottery here. So we have many different types of lotteries um, that scratch off. There's the weekly ones. Um, so a lot of people play. Um, so they do make a lot of money through the lottery um, and that just supports the school systems and many other different programs. Um, so no state tax, that's great. And really, I guess there is kind of a state tax because you play the lottery, right? But that's so much more fun. I'll do the lottery any day, so much more fun. Okay, the number five pro for living in Vero Beach is our community culture and philanthropy. Uh, this is, when I came here, um, I, I just didn't, I didn't quite understand how much a community could come together for everything you need. So um, there's so many different nonprofits here. There's also uh, helpful programs for kids, for the homeless, for the arts, for, I mean, the list goes on and on really. Um, and they, they do these fundraisers and fun events. Um, there's the firefighters fair, there's uh, the, the Vero Beach Under the Oaks art show. There's many, many different things that we do to not only have fun, but raise money for these great organizations. Um, so having that community here in Vero Beach is really something I'm very proud of. Um, other great things that a lot of places don't have. Um, we have a state-of-the-art Vero Beach Museum of Art with exhibitions that'll blow your mind. There's also the Riverside Theater, there's a children's theater and the other theater um, that uh, there's, there's so many great shows. You're gonna have the outdoor concerts, there's a comedy show. There's so much fun you can have um, at those places. And there's also the Environmental Learning Center. And that, uh, that particular program, the Environmental Learning Center, uh, they actually take your kids from school and, and show them about the environment and teach them about our local ecosystem, about recycling, about all of the different plants that grow here, the animals that Require living here in Florida and and the importance of our ecosystem and and uh, what impact Florida has on on the entire ecosystem really so uh, that's a pretty special place uh, that we have as well there's so many different great programs here um, so if you come here to Vero Beach you're gonna find that you're gonna find some kind of program that you really love and can support as well so for the number six pro of living in Vero Beach, our clean environment. We have the cleanest areas, clean and cared for by our city and our county, as well as all of the residents. We're mindful of what everything looks like. Um, our skies are a beautiful blue, except for when it's raining. That's usually pretty brief. The trash on the roads is really low. There's not trash everywhere. It's really great. The grass and the trees, um, they're all cared for. You'll see um, crews out there working many times 
a week um, cutting grass out of the canals, cutting the grass from the medians, just making everything look really beautiful. Okay, the number seven great thing pro about living in Vero Beach, we have the best off-leash dog park here. It's on the barrier island. It doesn't, they don't charge you anything for bringing your, your dog there. You bring them with you. Um, I have dogs of my own that love going there. Um, I know when we get in the car with them and we're heading that direction, they know that we're going there. Um, it's super fun. There's actually a small dog side, so if you have a smaller dog, um, they can go on that that side where it's just um, it's more appropriate and the toys are smaller on that side and then the big dog side is a lot larger so they can they're free to roam and run and play with the other dogs lots of different places for them to get water and it's really a cool place it's a little jungle gym for your dog and uh, where you can make friends and um, your dog will be probably exhausted but the happiest dog that you'll have so small dog side big dog side they don't charge you a thing um, and and uh, it's it's just super fun and my number eight pro of living in Vero Beach is all the children's activities although this really is a nice retirement community we have so many activities that are here for little kids to big kids we have this great aquatic center and water park. We have big swimming pools. We have bowling. We have the greatest park swing sets and sand pits and all kinds of fun things for them to play with. And we have a children's theater, the Riverside Children's Theater, where they can put on plays and your families can come together and watch your kids uh, do these fun plays. There's the McKee Botanical Gardens, just a magical place. It's so beautiful, very historical. It's been here for many, many years. Um, and, and they do, they do, they switch out their exhibitions from time to time. They've had uh, Lego exhibitions. They do Santa Claus comes every year. Um, it's really great, uh, a great little place to bring your families and kids love it. There's a skating rink. There's also this fun city bounce house place where you can bring your kids inside. Um, like I said earlier, it's very hot sometimes here in Vero Beach, so sometimes playing indoors is the best thing to do. Um, it's tons of fun. They have a nice little area where uh, adults can relax and get a little massage and a chair, but your kids can go out there and jump their hearts out in all these fun bounce houses in there many other activities here in, in Vero Beach for your kids. Um, lots and lots of fun choices. So my number nine, number nine pro of living in Vero Beach would be living on the Treasure Coast. So what does that mean really? So back a long time ago, there was many different ships, Spanish ships, that were sailing past our area filled with gold and silver that crashed here during a terrible hurricane. And with that, much of their treasures were lost here right off our coast. A lot of it's already been found. There's still some out there. So for those treasure hunters that want to find real gold and silver off our shores, it's out there. You're gonna see a map here with all the different ships that have have sunk here on our Treasure Coast and where you might be able to find real gold and silver. Another fun thing that you can do that's kind of like that, no treasure that I know about, but you can go out and snorkel or dive um, a real shipwreck site. Uh, we have this great video that was just put together. Um, there's a flag right in the bow uh, of that shipwreck where you can, you can swim out and see. Um, it's actually really neat to see this uh, this sunken ship. It's called the SS Breckenshire Shipwreck. Um, you can learn more about it with this link or the video that I'm posting right here. Um, the number 10 pro of living in Bureau Beach. Want more fun? So, our location right here, we're, we're right in the middle of Orlando and Palm Beach only about an hour and a half away from Mickey Mouse. 
So if you get up in the morning and you decide you want to go see Mickey Mouse, head on up there. You'll be there an hour and a half. We're only an hour and a half away from the airport, from our Orlando airport, or from the Palm Beach airport. So we're really close to all of those big city things that you want to do, but you're close enough that you can still head back home and sleep in your own bed. Hey, so there is loads more pros to living in Vero Beach and a lot less cons to living in Vero Beach. I'm definitely going to be making another episode to tell you loads more things that, that we offer here in Vero Beach, fun things that you can take advantage of. Another thing that you can actually do is download my um, book that I have here. There's going to be a link in the description that you can click to order your free catalog. It's your relocation guide which has details on many of the things that we talked about here as well as some of the other fun things that we have in Vero Beach that you can take advantage of, our golf courses, all of that kind of stuff um, will be located in that catalog that you can order for free. If you thought this episode was informative and helpful for you, I think that it would be great if you see the next episode which is all about places that are pet friendly here in Vero Beach. Condos, homeowners associations, many of those sometimes have restrictions on, on different pets and animals and we're going to be talking all about those wonderful places that are all pet friendly.